All right, guys, it is time for another Saturday night snack and a movie, and we are getting back to the spooky. Tonight's movie is Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, I have not even seen this movie myself, so I can't tell you a whole lot about it. All I know is that it takes place in a pizza place, kind of like Chuck E. Cheese, with singing and dancing animatronics, and this guy goes in and gets killed. I don't know if he gets killed or not, but the animatronics come alive. <laughs> this is actually my first official introduction to Five Nights at Freddy's. I've never played the game, I've never watched any of the shows, any videos online. I've seen costumes and things at Spirit Halloween, but I've never quite truly understood it. Only, yeah, that it takes place at a pizza place, like Chuck E. Cheese, and the animatronics come alive and wreak havoc. Now this movie is rated PG-13, and I have I have not seen it myself, so I cannot tell you whether it's okay for little kids to watch, but I do know that when I posted online that this is what we were going to be watching, a lot of people said that they and their kids had watched it several times already. So my guess is if you take your kids to Spirit Halloween, then this movie is probably going to be perfectly fine for you all to watch. Now as for our snack, I'm trying to mix it up so we don't do the same type of thing every week. We've made a couple of awesome snacks recently, like the Little Debbie Christmas Tree Cake Balls or Pops or whatever you want to call them. We made the Christmas grams when we watched Elf. Then we changed it up a little bit and we had Shepherd's Pie when we watched the Charlie Brown Christmas. This week we're going to go back to the crafts. Sometimes it's just fun to go out and shop for little snacks like candy bars and chips and cookies and things like that. But it wouldn't be an official Saturday night snack in a movie if we didn't do something special. So tonight we are going to take this regular old pizza box here and we are going to turn it into a Freddy Fazbear's pizza box. Is that how you say it? Fazbear? I don't even know. It might even be Fazbear. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do tonight, guys. So get out your crafting supplies, run out to your local pizza shop, and ask them if you can have a small box, or just simply order, like, some breadsticks or a dessert that will come in a box like this. This is a smaller box, and you're best to not order a pizza, because if you order a dessert or something like that, you get a very clean box to work with. If you order pizza, it's gonna have oil stains and cheese stuck to it. So without further ado, let's get moving here. We're gonna make our Freddy's pizza box, and then we're gonna run out to the Dollar Tree and pick some awesome snacks that will fit in that box. Okay, so I am ready to get started in turning this regular East of Chicago pizza box into a Freddy Fazbear's pizza box. So, like I said, the first thing you need to do is figure out where you're going to get the pizza box. We ordered pizza one night, and I think I ordered like a brownie or something like that. So it came in this smaller box, which is the perfect size, because we're just making a snack holder box. But as I showed you in the intro, the inside of this box is super clean, because if you get a pizza in the box, it has all kinds of oil stains and cheese and toppings stuck to it. If that's all you have, you can definitely use it, clean it up the best you can. But of course, it's best if you can get a nice, new, clean one like this. So the next thing, obviously, that you need to do is get out all your crafting materials. There are so many different options for how you can do this, how you can make this box. We've got some tape here, we've got Mod Podge, we've used that before for some things. We've got some paints, paint brushes, scissors, crayons, colored pencils. We even have some colored paper here and some white paper. This is printer paper. You can draw your image on the paper and then just attach it to the box like that. You can paint it. You can do whatever you want. You can do like a decoupage where you take a bunch of pictures of Freddy and the other animatronics and pizza and things like that, cut them out, and then you just use this Mod Podge to glue it all over the box. There's so many ways you can do it. But what I decided to do personally was I went onto the internet, onto Google, I did an image search 
for Freddy's Pizza, and I came up with a handful of options. Now, I decided on a couple of them, and I printed them out. I also went to a website called Cool Text, where you can create your own lettering, and so I created some that said, like, Fresh Hot Pizza, different things like that. I have this one that says Fresh Oven Baked right here, and I just happened to have contact paper, white sticky paper, so I decided just to print these out from my computer. So I have these ones in a couple different sizes that say Fresh Oven Baked. I figured we would put that like on the front and maybe even on the sides. I also printed it out on regular paper here in case I needed to cut it out and put it on there like maybe it's not the right size. That looks like it would be right about the perfect size, but I think I'm going to go with the smaller one that's on the sticky paper. It's just a little bit easier. And I did the same thing with my Freddy Fazbear's uh, image here that I also found online on a Facebook group. I printed those out on regular paper, and I printed them out on the sticky paper. I just think the sticky paper will make it look a little cleaner on the box. And what I want to do is I want to put one of them on the front of the box, and then I want to put one on the inside of the box, like right here on the inside of the lid, so that when the box is open you can see the logo up here while you're sitting there eating all your snacks that are in the box. So depending on where you get your box, it's already going to have some kind of logo on there. This is East of Chicago. It says things on the side here like order from East of Chicago, pizza done right on the front here. We don't want to see any of that stuff. We want to put our own designs on there to make it our Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Box. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some white paint and I'm just going to put a coat of white paint over the whole box just to make it white and cover up those logos. It's not perfect but it covers up all the logos. Okay, so I have everything coated on here. We got the top done, and then I put a thin coat of white all around the edges. Now, if I open it up, I did not do that part right there on either side, just because it's not really necessary. But now, we want to start with our decals. So I think we're going to start with the sides that say fresh oven baked. We need to cut each of those out. All right, so we cut them out. We have three of those now, one for each side. There we go, one right on the front there. This is gonna be cool. <laughs> so if you're using paper instead of sticky paper, you just wanna use like glue or tape or something like that. And there we go, the sides and the front are done. There's the front and each side fresh oven baked and then we need to do the ones that go on the front and on the inside so we have two of those and that should fit perfectly on there we just have to trim up the sides a little bit yeah that'll be perfect all right there we go there's the front and the sticky paper that I'm using is actually supposed to be for shipping labels so it's actually two pieces so when I put it on, I have to put one half on and then line it up and put the other half on as well. It's actually two stickers. And there we go. Now the inside is done. So when we close the box, we have a full Freddy Fazbear's pizza box. Fresh oven baked on the sides and the front. Freddy's on the top there. And then we open it up and you have Freddy's on the inside as well. Now obviously if you're painting, gluing, coloring, drawing, whatever you're doing, it may take a little bit longer than this took. Since I had the sticky paper, it only took me about 20 minutes to make the box, aside from letting that paint dry. But now that we have our Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Snack Holder Box, let's go get some snacks to put in it. And what better place to do that than the Dollar Tree? Look at this, they have Fiddle Faddle and Pop Secret Microwave Popcorn. They even have Kettle Corn back here. Here's some small bags of chips over here. They got these cheddar fries, 
potato sticks, hot fries. Look, here's a little bag of popcorn called Cheddar Blast. Pirate's Booty, we bought that before. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Ding Dongs and Twinkies flavored popcorn. That's what I'm getting right there. Look at this, they have Cheez-Its, White Cheddar, Hot and Spicy, Cheddar Jack. We got combos over here. Ritz Bits, these are delicious. Snyder's Nibblers, Pretzel Chips, Veggie Chips, Cornbread Crisps. I like these Junior Dippers right here it's like breadsticks that you dip in cheese we've been in a dollar tree several times before they always have such an awesome selection of candy and treats and snacks and since we're putting these in a little pizza box we want to find small packages of things like these cookies there's only three cookies in that pack right there but if you're gonna have a variety of snacks and that's pretty good. Ooh, they have these two Hello Panda chocolate cookies. Goldfish crackers, honey roasted peanuts. We got regular peanuts here and corn nuts. Look at this, Taco Supreme sunflower seeds. All kinds of gummy candy here, Swedish fish, Tootsie Rolls, sweet tarts, ropes. I've never had those. I bet those would be good. All right, here we go. We got some cookies over here. Ooh, I'm definitely getting some Oreo cake stirs. Look at this, Cinnamon Toast Crunch stuffed puffs filled marshmallows those would be fun they got zingers nutter butter bites mini chips ahoy mini golden oreos and of course they have all these theater boxes of candy over here i personally like the cookie dough bites what the heck is this yonkers peanut power it looks like uh Snickers bars, Blow Pop Minis, those look good. Boston Baked Beans, Junior Mints, Junior Caramels. So much to choose from here. Look at this, Airheads Bites. Let's see what kind of drinks they have that would fit in a little pizza box. <laughs> I was hoping they would have some kind of high C juice boxes or something. Wait a minute, right here. They actually do. Okay, so here's what we got, guys. We have, look at this, Mango Nectar. These are very small boxes that would fit perfectly in there. We got grape here, orange tangerine juicy juice. I don't see any other kind of juice boxes or anything here, but there are a handful of choices down there in the little juice boxes. Look at this, they have Warheads Sour Green Apple Soda. Ooh, IBC Cream Soda. I'm surprised to see this here. All right, they have a ton of stuff in here, but I think I have everything I want. Let's get back home and watch our movie what the heck jello sour berry blue candy squares they look like blue golden grams we are back home that was an awesome shopping trip we are ready to start loading up our freddy's pizza box snack box with our awesome snacks that we got at the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna show you everything that I got here. You guys know that I bought the Twinkies flavored popcorn. How good is that gonna be? And I tried to buy things that would fit perfectly in the box. So one of the things I got was this rainbow Rice Krispies treat right here. I got a bag of the Airheads Bites because that reminds me of the ball pit at Chuck E. Cheese. I got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch stuffed puffs. They're actually filled marshmallows. They feel kind of hard too, so I don't know how that's going to go over. I got a pack of the Oreo Cakesters. I bought some Cowtails Minis. These are so good. They're like caramel with a white cream center. They are so good. And while I was checking out, I found this Andy's cream mint bar these are really good and it's small and it's thin so it'll fit perfectly in that box and then just before i left i found these little gold coins that look like tokens that you would use in the games if you were actually at freddy fazbear's pizza so we're gonna sprinkle those in there too <laughs> all right so there we go guys i was able to fit everything perfectly in here look at this we have the box completely closed our custom freddy fazbear's pizza box and then when we open it up there's all the snacks for the night look at that how cool is that <laughs> that is very very cool look at that guys our freddy fazbear's pizza box and then on the inside we have everything perfect in there the twinkies popcorn the cinnamon toast crunch stuffed puffs the airheads bites cow tails cake stirs we have our snap bar our rice crispy treat and a whole row of tokens for games at freddy fazbear's <laughs> 
All right, guys, that's it. I am ready for movie night. I got my Freddy's pizza box loaded with awesome snacks. We got our movie here already queued up on the TV and ready to go. I am going to kick back and have an awesome, spooky Saturday night snack and a movie. Make sure you guys subscribe. Leave me a comment below. And if you want your very own Saturday night snack and a movie t-shirt, you can go over to thatnateguystuff.com and get one right now.